Hello everybody, Keller here. As you might know, Pineapple Vintage Noir is one of my most complimented fragrances ever. I haven't owned a bottle of the original Pineapple Vintage, only the Noir, but I have owned samples. The only problem with the original Pineapple Vintage is that I find it's really weak, uh, the projection and longevity, it dies down quickly. This fragrance right here, Pineapple Vintage Intense, is a way improved version of the original. In my opinion, this is what the original should be, uh, the original Pineapple Vintage. I don't think they should have an Intense and then the original. I think they should just stick with this Intense version because this is much stronger. Apparently, the concentration of Isoe Super in this fragrance has been amped up. And Isoe Super is a sort of soft, woody note that um, is almost invisible to the wearer, but um, it really does make the pleasantness of the fragrance more intense in a way. And uh, you get a lot of compliments with fragrances that have a lot of ISOE Super in there. The bottle is the same as the original, but they've changed the sticker down by The original sprayer of my Noir is sort of just like a light puff. This sprayer is much better, it's like a mist. It's exactly like the Dior Sauvage sprayer, as you can see there. It like sort of slowly mists, but I really love that. The opening is still amazing. I could get a really nice, uh, slightly fruity, uh, citrusy pineapple, but it's very clean and it's a bit sharp uh, in the first couple of minutes, but I get about four hours of projection out of this one and about 10 hours of longevity on my skin. It does last the next day on my clothes. So uh, it is a very good performing fragrance. The original version did not last that long on me. I can really tell this has been amped up, but the smell is identical to the original version but the notes are a bit more intense. This is more of a summer fragrance, so I'd go for this version in the summer and uh, the Noir in the winter. Don't expect a one-to-one -one clone of Aventus with this um, because it's not as natural and it's not as mossy smelling. I love the Aventus mossiness and um, this does give you that, but um, it's not exactly the same, guys. Uh, but it, it does smell close to Aventus, okay? It's in the same category. It's like that sort of fruity pineapple smell and that sort of warm, sort of woodiness in the dry down. This fragrance needs to be smelt in the air because when you smell it up close, I, don't get me wrong, it is nice, but it's a bit too sharp and I instantly get olfactory fatigue when I smell it up close. So this needs to be smelt on a friend. So if you get a sample of this or whatever, spray it on your friend or tell him to spray it on, but not in the same room as you. Just tell him to go home, spray it on the next day or whatever. And then when you smell him out of nowhere, you'll understand why this is so highly complimented. I'm still a huge fan of the original Noir, uh, Pineapple Vintage Noir. Um, I prefer this over this. I'm more of a fan of their mossy, rich scents. And this has a bit more of a mossy, sort of dry woodiness in the dry down. Like many fragrances, you need to give it time to appreciate it. Like you need to spend time with them to appreciate it. It's like it beats any fragrance I throw at there in terms of compliments. There's a coupon code in the description if you want to check these fragrances out. And also they sell samples on their website too. I just want to let you guys know too, I'm not getting paid for any of this, uh, the coupon code and nothing like that. Um, they did send me this bottle for free to review. Uh, this pineapple vintage bottle, uh, Intense. Uh, so they did send me that. But the truth is, the honest to God truth guys, is that this is one of my go-to compliment getters now. Every time I want to go and wear a fragrance that I know people are going to love on me and it's going to last quite a long time too and I don't have to worry about reapplying it, I just go for this one now. It's overtaken Club de Nuit Intense, uh, Sauvage. Uh, it's overtaken many of my fragrances as my go-to fragrance. I wouldn't call it truly my signature because there's ever fragrances I like better. I'm not saying this is the best smelling fragrance I've ever smelt. I'm not saying um, I prefer this over a Ventus because I don't. So yeah, guys, that's all I can really say about this fragrance, Pineapple Vintage Intense. A much improved formula over the original Pineapple Vintage. Smells exactly the same, lasts longer, and projects way more noticeably. So yeah, that's been my review. Uh, thanks for watching as always. I'll see you all in the next video.